Today we are going to be talking about the difference between the direct object and the indirect object. Let's take a look to our first example. Jack bought a car. Jack is the subject, bought is the verb, and what did Jack buy? Well, Jack bought a car. So car is the object. There are two kinds of objects, direct objects and indirect objects. The direct objects answer the qu answers the question what or whom. So let's see. Erin has a cat. Erin is the subject. Has is the verb. And what does Eric have? Well, Erin has a cat. So cat is the direct object of this sentence. Mary invited Jane to her wedding. Mary is the subject, invited the verb, and whom did Mary invite to her wedding? Well, Jane. So Jane is the direct object in this sentence. Now guys, the indirect objects answer the question to whom, for whom, or for what. So let's take a look to our examples. Emily handed the teacher the homework. Emily is the subject, handed the verb, and Emily handed what? Well, Emily handed the homework. Homework is the direct object, and to whom? To the teacher. So, teacher in here is the indirect object. Let's move on to our next example. Mary made her son a birthday cake. Mary the subject, made the verb, made what? Mary made what? Okay, she made a cake. For whom? For her son. So some is the indirect object in this sentence. Remember guys that an indirect object cannot exist in a sentence that doesn't have a direct object. That's all for now.